on propping up uh, kind of operations, but I'll talk about that later. I understand you are here for the um, completely strictly voluntary um, organ donor situation. That's great. It's wonderful. We need we need more people like you. Um, when signing out the form, did did you uh, properly did you properly read it and all of that? Did you? said. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I just need to go grab your phone. Okay, so. Okay, well. That's a pretty big job. Um, that's cool. We're actually currently offering a new scheme plans and it's fine. In the minute you sort of give us an organ and we're like, oh thanks. We sometimes give you a bit of money to say cheers for being a good sport. Well, this clinic is currently offering a trial period on a new uh, new scheme aimed at really targeting the more important parts of um, medicine that people usually um, stray away from. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see um, what this is. Um, we've, we've kind of yet to think of a good name for it, so um, I've sort of pioneered the idea of calling it Brain for Pay. And what that is, is um, pretty much, um, I'll give you give you about 4,000 to 5,000 pounds, and I'll, I'll take your brain. Yeah, 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 your brain. And I promise you, you, you will walk out of here. You'll, you'll leave here, and you won't. You won't notice a difference. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be like, it'll be like you've just had your brain removed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, can I interest you in that? I can. Oh, fantastic, Greg. You're, you're actually the first person to um accept this, and that that's fan that's fantastic. Because uh, I've had it in the works for about twenty years, but. So far, everyone's been a bit like, I don't want you getting my brain. Selfish. That's what I said, selfish. We don't like that. We don't appreciate that in this surgery. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the other stuff on your list. Yeah. It's 
your blood off your hands. Um, so we go here. Oh, this is a new one. We don't we didn't offer this until about five seconds ago. What this is, this is a skin transplant. Yeah, we can offer you a skin transplant too. What is we take a bit of your skin? That's that's what it is. That's a skin transplant, yeah. I can I'm gonna have to test though, because there's certain tests we need to do about bruising. Someone said, uh, oh, I got this skin transplant, and I bruise really easily, and they sued us for a lot of money. But luckily they came back, and um, we gave them a brain transplant, and they didn't sue us after that. So, we must have done something right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just need to test how quickly you bruise. squint like there's a really bright light just like imagine my face is a really bright light and people are like squinting at it okay fantastic okay that's right now open them really wide again like a cat in the headlights there we are okay fantastic okay you have some very nice eyes okay i think i can take at least one do you want both of them or one of them There's not going to be much left of you after we've finished. You do know that. Alright, each to their own. Um, I think there was meant to be some convention. Or some, uh, something I signed when I became a doctor. But, uh, I didn't sign it, so I think I can do all of this. So it's fine, you don't need to worry. Um, do you have, do you have health insurance? No? Brilliant. for time because I've got another customer coming in soon and they get pretty annoyed if they start waiting and all that because my last customer like, I'm not sure what his problem was really I, I told him to wait and I was only about I was only a couple of days but now he was all I need to go home fix me please take this catheter out of my mouth I, it's yeah no, as I said I am an experienced doctor and I know where things go, usually. So, yeah. Um, you want to take a seat on the floor, facing the ceiling on your back for me? Uh, we won't use a medical table, because they're really annoying to clean. And I can just bleach the floor. Um, the stains you see on the floor, they're not blood. They're not blood. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, I should say, they're not patient's blood. sometimes clumsy with the operating knife. Anyway, uh, yes, so if you'd like to sort of um, take a lie down for me. Yeah, just like that. And then just lie down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Great. Sorry, I can't move in too much because I'm not wearing any trousers. 
So, um, second. Okay, first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check where the organs I need to take out are, because I don't want to make a mistake like I did last time, because that was embarrassing. So, yeah, uh, first I'm just going to look for the skin. So I could take your heart. Oh no, did, did you want that? Are you sure? I'll give you about a hundred for it. No? Alright, fine. Jesus. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just taking out your kidneys now.
your eyes were shut through all of that, so yeah, brain's gone. That's fine. That is, the, that is definitely the brain that I took. I can deal with that. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'll do a bit of a hearing test. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is just say some things, and I want you to repeat them back to me. in this room. I'd say simple form. 